We're back here in Ancona, Italy again at the Messi and Poloni factory with my good friend Stefano Messi. In this second part of this video series, we're going to take a look at how the screening or shield is applied to the coaxial cable, this time on Ham Radio Tube. Did you know that viewers of Ham Radio Tube can save 10% off all your Messi and Poloni purchases? You can either order from Gigaparts or directly from Messi and Poloni. United States and Canada orders also directly from Messi and Poloni will get free shipping. All you have to do is use code KMRD at checkout. As you can see there, there is a big spool, a very big bobbin, and it has got a multiple wires in there. So these multiple wires can be five, can be six, can be eight, can be even 10. Uh, from here, the multiple wires are going through here in this automatic machine, the robot. Look at the robot, what it's going to do is baking the spools, and the spools, uh, they will be filled up, filled up and uh, at the end, they will be automatically changed by means of uh, these magazines, that are double magazines. This is the braiding process. The braiding process is made by means of 24 spool braiding machines. 24 spool braiding machines can give us a 50% more crossover if compared to 16 fuses, you know, 16 spool braiding machines. So uh, it's here that we're making our reactive braid. The braid can be, can be made in different ways. It can be a single braid like in our G58 or our G213 here with a screening efficiency of 55 dB, or can be a double braid with a copper foil, in this case, on, or uh, an aluminum foil, in other cases, over which we are placing a braid. So the 24 screw braiding machine, you can see in here. So by means of this sorted braid and the copper foil, we can reach up to 105 dB of screening efficiency which gives you the best protection against the electromagnetic pollution. After making the, the dielectric on the cable, we are placing the bobbin full of dielectric to here. So from this position, we are passing the, the, the cable lead inside here, and we are matching with the, with the foil. So this is a copper polyester foil. There is a load cell which is giving exactly the same amount of our of tensile strength so that when we arrive at the disposition we can have exactly uh, the same the same treatment the same force while overlapping the foil around the dielectric so the dielectric is wrapped around i mean the, no, the foil is wrapped around just a fraction of a second before making the braid so the braid is made there as you can see both things are done in a fraction of a second and there are two sensors which are checking through and if the foil is not placed in the right position they will stop the machine and they will tell give an alarm what has happened from the bobbin it goes down here and here we have got another bobbin which is full of, of braiding of braided cables the braided cables will be used for the jacketing process which is the final part the part from the packaging which is uh, immediately afterwards now that we've seen how the foil and braided shield is applied to the coaxial cable in the next video of this series we're going to take a look at the extrusion process to see what it takes to put a jacket on the coaxial cable